Um, all we're about to do is a role play of an event we would like to have. It's a Mark City kind of cooking competition, and we'll have uh, <coughs> we'll have our celebrity chefs uh, cooking and competing to have their um, dish on our menu, a vegetarian dish on our menu, and then we'll have a produce market. And we also have um, the students who decide um, <laughs> who vote on which uh, recipe should be the monthly featured. Um, dish for the university. So, yes, welcome to our first <laughs> of the monthly series of a cooking contest. So we have our celebrity chef A. And <laughs> you have a limited amount of time to cook your best vegetarian dishes. And you have... Um, <laughs> get the recipes? The recipe uh, made public on the social network and also, yeah. Right. Well, Chris, there would be some hard copies, but I think uh, the social network should be most easiest for you. Yeah. 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 May I know here in this room how many students have their own kitchen? It's <laughs> common kitchen on the floor. Like, are you used to cook every day or every week? Who is cooking every day here? <laughs> so maybe that's the point. Like, it's a good idea, but I don't not sure about people who are going to buy C2 to produce it at home. It's a good student here. <laughs> I think the so the the idea is that if they can cook it at home if they want, and there's a lot of staff that uh, and faculty that also. But I think the main thing is we're really rebranding the vegetarian dishes because I think we found that 
people think that the vegetarian dishes are bland and tasteless and don't have much nutrition. And so we need to turn that into something that is much more exciting. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, who will be arguing to cook the dishes? I mean, saying so, many chefs, like many chefs, I mean, the cost and it's pretty high for all the. Yeah. So, um, you want to explain what we had in mind for that? No. Uh, for example, uh, next to HKU, we actually have a, a cooking school uh, for student chefs. So, we may also invite those student chefs here, and it can also provide opportunities for them and just for incentives for them, and we also get some uh, advantages. We're thinking that for the first couple of times, we, we need to get some real celebrities to get it going, and so that people recognize that when they see this special, that it's going to be really good. But then after people start to recognize that this is this this is good food, then we can start getting other. We don't have to get big time celebrities. Another thing is that the, these chefs will are used to cooking with much more expensive ingredients. So how do you manage to keep the cost so low? Well, I think the, the key here is that they, the competition, they have to use the vegetables that are provided or the ingredients that are provided. Because the other piece is that they have to be able to create a dish that can transfer into the luxury. So they need to be able to put it together in a way that can be reproduced. If I may, in a condition to make like the multi transmission, I need some vegetables. Yeah. Meat are much more expensive than. The main concern is to uh, create a simple dish that is uh, healthy while you can actually replicate it in the hall or at home so you can make it yourself. So it shouldn't be so luxurious or so difficult. Mm. If, if it's only one vegetarian dish, so then we can find it right. Well, I, I think, I mean, on this menu, yeah, just this one right here, but I think it could be more than one if there's a couple of dishes that, that work. It could be the top three dishes. Yeah. It is a big competition. Because I think most, most of the time in our canteen, the, uh, only one dish is for vegetarian. The, then the dishes is uh, not really good, and then the vegetarian will take it. And then they just they do that, they break their own dishes. Uh, to, so that, I mean, the problem is maybe two little choices for them to. Well, that might that might be true. I think what we we found from the interviews and from our experience is that we think that that the dishes are pretty bad. And somebody brought up today that that the in in Hong Kong generally most of the effort goes into spicing up the meat. So you have barbecue and all that kind of stuff. And then the vegetables are just kind of to supplement. So a vegetarian dish quite often is just the supplement without the meat. And so it's very bland. But we also recognize that there are a lot of other, like especially Indian food, where there's a lot of vegetarians. All of the effort goes into the vegetables. So curries and kormas and things like that have nothing to do with the meat. It's all about. So we know that the vegetables can be delicious if there's some emphasis on them. So that's what we wanted to do, is just emphasize people who could really take the vegetables that are provided and really turn them into something special. No more questions and thank okay. you.